Imagine a world where apes rule. A kingdom where our primate cousins have evolved to become the dominant species. Let's journey back in time to the inception of this astonishing realm, the kingdom of the planet of the apes. It's a tale that takes us beyond the familiar, into the realm of the extraordinary. A narrative of evolution, survival, and ultimately supremacy. In this kingdom, our primate relatives have not just survived, they have thrived. They have ascended the ladder of evolution not by mere chance but through the force of their own intelligence. Their capabilities have surpassed our wildest expectations, and it's these capabilities that have allowed them to take control. The rise of the apes was not an event that happened overnight. It was the result of a series of extraordinary events that played out over an extended period. Born out of necessity and fueled by a will to survive, the apes began to evolve. They developed skills, abilities, and intellect that far outpaced our own. Their intelligence was not simply about tool use or problem solving. It was a kind of cognitive agility, an ability to adapt and innovate, that set them apart. They could communicate, plan, strategize. They could learn from the past and plan for the future. They were not just surviving, they were thriving. But their rise to dominance wasn't just about intelligence. It was also about strength, agility, resilience. In this new world order, the apes had the physical capabilities to match their cognitive prowess. They were swift, strong, and adaptable. They could navigate the harshest terrains, withstand the toughest climates, and rise to the top of the food chain. The rise of the apes is a tale of evolution and survival, but it's also a tale of triumph. It's a story of a species that has evolved to become the dominant force in their world. It's a testament to the power of intelligence, adaptability, and resilience. Thus began the reign of the apes, a narrative that forever changed the course of what we perceived as possible. In the kingdom of the planet of the apes, evolution took a surprising turn. The apes, originally perceived as simple-minded creatures, underwent a remarkable transformation evolving both physically and mentally. Often, when we think of evolution, we imagine a slow, gradual process spanning millions of years. In this context, however, evolution moved at an unprecedented speed. The apes became more than just animals. They developed into sentient beings, showcasing cognitive abilities that rivaled and at times surpassed those of humans. The most significant evidence of this evolution was the apes' acquisition of language. Just as our ancestors once grappled with rudimentary sounds and gestures, so too did these apes. But they didn't stop there. They advanced from simple communication to complex language, from grunts and signs to spoken and written words. This ability to communicate their thoughts and ideas marked a seismic shift in their evolution, allowing them to collaborate, strategize, and learn from one another in ways they never could before. Yet the development of language was just one aspect of their evolution. The apes also began to use tools. Initially, these tools were crude, stones, sticks, bones. But as their intelligence grew, so did the complexity of their tools. They weren't just using objects they found, they were creating their own, modifying them to fit their needs, demonstrating a level of foresight and ingenuity that was simply staggering. And then there was the establishment of societal norms. The apes formed their own societies complete with rules and hierarchies. They developed a sense of justice, of right and wrong. They showed empathy, compassion, and even a capacity for self-sacrifice. All of these traits, these norms, were reflective of a complex, evolving society. Through these adaptations, the apes cemented their place as rulers, proving that intelligence and adaptability are indeed the keys to survival. In the kingdom of the planet of the apes, evolution wasn't just about physical changes. It was about mental and societal advancements, about the capacity to learn, adapt, and overcome. It was about the triumph of intelligence over brute strength, of adaptability over stagnation. The apes did not just survive, they thrived, creating a society that was remarkably complex and structured. As we delve deeper into the fabric of the ape society, we find that it is intricately woven, much like our own. They have a hierarchical structure, with leaders, elders, and warriors each playing a pivotal role. The leaders are the decision makers, the elders, the wise counselors, and the warriors, the defenders of their realm. Their laws are simple yet effective, based on an understanding of respect, justice, and equality. There's an unspoken rule amongst them. Do no harm unless harmed. 
They strive to live peacefully, but when provoked, they stand as one, a formidable force against any adversary. Interaction within the ape society is fascinating. Their language, a blend of sign language and vocalizations, is a testament to their intelligence and adaptability. They communicate not only to coordinate, but also to express emotions, to teach, and to forge relationships. Culture and tradition play a significant role in shaping the ape society. They have rituals for births, deaths, victories, and even defeats. These rituals bind them together, reinforcing their unity and sense of belonging. They celebrate their triumphs and mourn their losses as one, their collective strength resonating in these shared experiences. At the heart of their society are their values, courage, loyalty, and wisdom. They value courage, not just in battle, but also in standing up for what's right. Loyalty is not just an expectation, but a way of life. And wisdom is revered, sought after, and respected. Their societal structure is not rigid, but fluid, allowing for growth and adaptation. They learn from their experiences, from their triumphs and their mistakes, continually evolving their societal norms and practices. The Ape Society is a mirror reflecting back at us our own societal structures. It challenges us to question our understanding of society and culture, pushing us to broaden our perspectives. In the kingdom of the planet of the apes, it is clear that society and culture are not exclusive to humans. The kingdom of the planet of the apes serves as a mirror, reflecting back at us some of the most essential questions about our own humanity. We've journeyed through the dramatic rise of the apes, marveled at their evolution and adaptation, and discovered a society that, while distinctly different, i.e. echoes our own in many ways. This journey has taken us to the heart of themes such as intelligence and culture. We've seen how intelligence, far from being a uniquely human trait, is a product of evolution, a tool for survival. We've observed how culture too is not exclusive to us, but can emerge in societies of highly intelligent beings. Moreover, we've seen a society of apes that challenge our traditional notions of what it means to be dominant. It is not about physical strength, but about cooperation, empathy, and understanding. So we are left to ponder, in a world ruled by apes, where do humans stand, and what does it truly mean to be the dominant species?